Hello, scientists. Welcome to Jabal Mad, the channel that teaches scientists to draw professional scientific illustrations. And、uh, today, I will be showing you how to draw brain. And this is a like a redo of the、uh, previous. Brain illustration one because the audio was horrible. I don't want to hurt your ears while watching my videos, so、uh, this is my redo of that previous tutorial. And、uh, let's get into the brain illustration. Okay, so here you can see that on the left I have a dissection of the brain. It is a sagittal cross section, and I always、uh, prefer to、uh, use a dissection as a reference、uh, in these anatomy illustrations. So first, let's go to layers, and I will name this layer the reference layers,、uh, reference photos, and then、uh, I will grab the pencil tool, and then、uh, I'll use white here,、uh, and then start to trace the overall shape of the brain.、Uh, if you want to learn a little bit more、uh, about the tracing,、uh, you can check out the video here.、Uh, it's a hard illustration, and there will be a more detailed、uh, process of the tracing. And、uh, so, tracing is basically just uh, uh, drawing over the outline of a shape.、Uh, I will、uh, speed up this process, so you don't need to wait for me. If you have seen this brain before, please give a thumbs up.、Uh, and also, if you have not seen this brain before, also give a thumbs up because you're seeing it the first time today. And then, okay, now we have the overall shape of the brain. I will make a copy. I always like to make a copy of the shapes because of the objects because、um, they can be the backup. If I mess anything up, I can always go back to it. And I want a lighter orange, so、uh, I choose an orange and then go to the color guide to make it、uh, lighter. And、um, I will、uh, decrease the opacity of the.、Uh, The sh、uh, overall shape that's on top of the brain dissection, so we can see it through, and then we can see the sulci and the structures. Then I'll go back to the layers. I'll create a new layer. I will then move the overall shape of the brain to this new layer, and I'll call it brain overall. And I'll lock both of these layers. Then I create a new layer. This layer I will call it the sulci. So I'll grab my pencil tool again. And、uh, let's pick a stroke color.、Um, here I will use red, so we can see it、uh, quite clearly on top of the brain. And then I will just start to trace the sulci on the brain. And、um, there is a trick that、uh, you should pay attention to, which is that、uh, I break the. Line at the places where the brains are folding, so、uh, this can make your、um, foldings really going in. So this is a technique that we usually use in medical illustrations. And whenever there is a fold,、uh, we break the line. And yeah, I'll speed up this part、uh, so you don't need to wait for me. Okay, here I will slow down a bit, and、uh, as you can see, I zoom in to check the、uh, detail of these、uh, sulci tracing, and、uh, you will see that、uh, it is not exactly uh, over. Uh, it is not exactly on the outline of the brain. So、uh, make sure that you refine your lines、uh, when after you finish tracing. Now、uh, we are ready to、uh, trace some of the、uh, cross-section structures, like、uh, the、uh, corpus callosum. I will quickly trace it, just like how we did with the brain, and then I will move it to the、uh, brain that we have underneath here. Then、uh, we will need a lighter color. Then we'll need a lighter color for it, so I will、uh, first fill it in with the、uh, color that we've been using, and then go to the color guide to choose a lighter version of that color. 
So you can get that same uh, kind of effect in the example that we see on the right. All right, and um, the, I would uh, quickly speed up uh, the uh, process of tracing of the rest of the structures. Once I'm done with the tracing, I will apply a radio gradient uh, within the overall shape of the brain. So that will uh, give you just a little bit of volume within il this illustration to make it a little bit more interesting and also achieve that style you see in the nature uh, review uh, illustrations. So yeah, this is how you create a brain illustration from a dissection photo. And um, so you can find that dissection photo uh, in the description below if you want to use it as a practice. Uh, but you can choose any brain that uh, you have on your hand. It's much better to use your own um, dissection uh, if you're a researcher. So if you like this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to Dropout Mat for more of these tutorials. And I look forward to seeing you in the future videos.